Hello, lovelies. So today, I'm feeling pulled to do something a little different. And I know, FYI, I need to address that. I know that some of you guys uh, might get irritated with the way I change things up. But um, I'm consistent in the fact that I'm going to be showing up as often as possible. I don't want to promise every day, but almost every day. Um, but I don't like getting bored. And if I feel led to do things differently, I'm going to do them differently. Not because I'm trying to irritate you guys, but because it, it keeps this interesting to me. Then I don't get bored. Okay? So, if you have a sensitivity to high frequency sounds, please make sure to lower your volume now. Ready? Ooh. All right. So... Let's see. I'm going to be using, I found this lovely, lovely uh, traditional Korean deck of the Gisangs. I don't, I'm probably saying that wrong, but they're kind of like the equivalent of a geisha in China. I mean, geishas are Japanese, my bad. <laughs> but they had their own they had a similarity in style, right? Similarity in purpose. So that's that's the deck we're gonna be using today. Let's see. Let's, oh, we got two. Okay. We've got number 49 and number 40. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number 49. This is Gyunganga, The Importance of Knowing One's Place. Uh-oh. Gyunganga became a concubine of Osung, the former head of Jungchuwon, after his wife died and took charge of all the family affairs. At the time of marriage, Osung was already 80 years old, so Gyunganga secretly shared love with a family servant. Later, Osung noticed the situation and seared the servant's feet and beat him to death in a rage. Uh-oh. Sainobu, the Ministry of Justice of Joseon, heard about the incident and interrogated them. As a punishment, the government sentenced Gyumganga sentenced Gyumganga stick and made her a maidservant of the government of Gyeongsong, and Oh Sung, who punished the servant excessively, also took the penalty. Gyumganga, who was able to spend the rest of her life comfortably, regarded the relaxed environment given to her for granted and lived neglectfully rather than being grateful, and fell back into a tough lower class. So, when given a good environment which is above one's place, his or her true nature will be revealed. Some try to be the proper person for the environment and change in a good way, but others act by their hidden nature and kick their luck. So it's basically saying you need to know yourself. Uh, even if a high-class gentry killed a servant, he did not receive severe punishment. There was a status system which was higher than the human rights. Wow. Okay, so that's this card. Now this one, number 40, this one is Garion, Useless Expectation. Garion, a gisang of ham, 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 ham I'm probably butchering these names. Please forgive me if you're Korean or you know Korean. Uh, became popular in the town because she was talented and beautiful. She wanted an artist who is good at poetry, singing, playing gumungo, and even has a perfect dancing ability that is comparable to her as her husband. One day, a young classical scholar with good appearance came to Garion with a gumungo. Until late at night, they wrote poems under the candles, played gumongo and tungso, and had a drink. Garion liked his talent and thought he was a matchable person to be her husband, so she spread the bedding to marry him. But his, say, his face was dark, and he was just leaning against the wall. So Garion went closer to him, and he was not functioning as a man, so he wasn't responding, basically. Garion, who thought she had finally met... The perfect spouse was sad as she hit the floor, unable to resist her sorrowful heart. So, the application of that. 
She met a perfect mate who seemed to satisfy her in every way, but in reality, it was a fantasy. Before one knows exactly about the other's true nature, it is natural to create his or her own ideal type by adding images. But it would not be the real nature of the opponent. So hint, the appearance, feeling, and true nature can be completely different. And the expression, putting one's hair up, means to Gisangs that it is the first time they share love as a man and a woman. Okay, so... Uh, hold on. Because now my allergies are back down. So on one end... On one end, if we are given certain blessings, we have to appreciate them. Because she was a Gisang, um, they were considered part of the, the slave class. Because it was, although they were known as artists and poets, and some of them even healers, um, it was looked down upon, right? So it was a very low class place to be. And the fact that she had married nobility even if he was 80 years old, they were still frowning upon her getting involved with a servant. So she lost her position by not appreciating what she had. And this one created a fantasy with someone who didn't want her. So I'm not sure how that relates to today's collective, but let's see. Let's see. How does this connect to today's collective? The Knight of Candles. Okay. Ooh, Judgment Reversed. The Six of Presents. And the Nine of Potions. With the Ace of Presence. Hmm. The Hierophant. The Ace of Potions. Page of Potions. The Empress. This is interesting because there's two cards. Ace of Presence. Ace of Cups. Connected to the possibility of marriage. The possibility of commitment. But it's a night of candles offering that to an empress. It's a page of cups, page of wands. Basically, they're not on the same level. And maybe this has nothing to do with finances. Maybe it does. But this is somebody who has their eye on an empress. Someone with the nine of potions. This person looks happy. They look cheerful. And they're thinking this person is generous. But they're not showing good judgment. I think this is a warning for both people. This is a warning for the empress over here. And this is a warning for this Knight of Wands. It's not about knowing your place in aristocratic um, uh, levels or classes. And this one is more about knowing your place on... It could be that this Knight of Candles is coming in to create an illusion for the Empress. But... It's going to be passionate. It's not going to last long. They might even get married with this person, with the Hierophant. They might even get married with them. But they're not going to be faithful because the reason they're marrying them could be that this Empress is more stable than they are financially. It could be that there's some status attached to an Empress that they would like. But they're showing up in a wolf energy. This is somebody who would... This is like somebody who feels like they're a hunter. 
they're not only hunting down the empress, but later on they'd get involved with other people. So it's a warning to both people of like, don't, don't get with somebody who's not your match because it's going to end in disaster one way or another. It would show poor judgment, a lack of judgment. Um, right now, this Knight of Wands looks at this Empress like they're a wish come true. But that's because they're generous. And almost like they're in this energy of like, yeah, I could fall in love. I could fall in love with that person. They see the potential. But they're not in love. They're coming in with passion. Clarify the Knight of Candles. Ace of Wands, they're coming in with passion, like I said. They're attracted to the Empress. King of Gifts. Hmm. Clarify Knight of Gifts. Look. Oh, boy. Ace of Swords reversed. So. Sorry, I just realized. <laughs> um, yeah, look at this. We have all four Aces, okay? All four aces. Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Now the thing about this is. The other day somebody in the comments asked. What does it mean to have all four aces? And it depends on the context. It's hard to say that it always means one thing. In this case. I feel like this person. Is pretty confident in their ability to create their own reality. Unfortunately, the ace that they have is reversed, which means that they'll create their own reality that's convenient for them. They're not going to share what they th believe or what they think with this empress. They're a magician, but they're not a very trustworthy one because ace of canes. So they're a little bit of a trickster, if not a lot of it, <laughs> not just a little bit, a lot. Uh, but they're coming in as the king of pentacles. They're going to present themselves as a king of pentacles. They're going to present themselves as somebody who's ready for um, something stable. Somebody who's ready for long term. Somebody who's ready to build a family. They're leaving something behind. Look, there's the magician energy. They're leaving their single life behind. So if this was somebody who was a player, because they do have the Knight of Wands there... They're like, I'm ready. I'm ready to settle down. Just with a judgment card, I don't feel like this is... Let's see. Clarify judgment. Knight of gifts. Clarify judgment. Seven of gifts. Clarify judgment. Huh. The empress. Look, nine of good. I told you, it's this empress shows up in this energy of being happy. Um, they're a loner, but they know that they they want a relationship, but they're not desperate for one, right? And so they're they like that. They like that this empress would probably let them be their own person. <sighs> but there's all these pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. It's this energy of, I'm going to marry up. I'm going to marry someone of a higher status, someone of a higher class. I'm going to use my looks because the Kisaeng, that's all she had, right? Her artistic abilities, her looks, her allure. Somebody here is using their allure to pull in an empress. The thing about this is they're thinking about their future. They're going to come in acting all passionate, but they're thinking about their future. Seven of Pentacles. You see how this person is like looking under a cupboard or something like under a bed, like they're hiding gifts. This person is going to be hiding why they're investing into this. They might even want to get this pregnant, this pregnant, this Empress pregnant. Because you see how she's, she's prego. 
So you'll know if this is for you. Because this person wants quick action. They're, they, they're, they're going to come in love bombing you. They're going to come in ready to go. Both physically, emotionally. Let's move in. Let's uh, put aside birth control. Like that type of thing. Clarify six of presents. If this is, if with this person, if you use condoms, they might poke holes in it. Like this is, I don't care if it's male or woman. Like it's, this is someone who's trying to lock someone else down. That's like if this Gisang had married that 80 year old man and had a child trying to, you know, lock him in. Clarify six of pentacles, trying to secure her position. So I got the chariot, the knight of canes, which is the knight of swords. Again, Knight of Candles, which is the Knight of Wands. Ugh. Allergies. And the star. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. With the Three of Candles, they've been waiting for somebody like this to show up in their periphery. So, if we're using the example of the Kisayang, right? The way a, a geisha kind of searched for clients they're looking for somebody who is attracted to them they're looking for somebody who gives off the energy of they take care of theirs they're generous they're looking for somebody who they're equally attracted to that they could feel themselves almost like, you know, those girls who are gold diggers and, and I say gold diggers because it means that the only reason that they're interested in someone is their finances, right? I don't know if this is a male or a female. It doesn't really matter because they exist in both genders, but this is somebody who wants to make sure that their, that their person stays their forever person. They don't just want a sugar mama or a sugar daddy. They want to marry this person. But they're, they want to harpoon themselves a nice little, an, an ass that they enjoy tapping, let me put it that way, or um, a dick that they enjoy riding. So they go off of physical appearance. They go off of, they're also looking for somebody who's sweet. So... <sighs> this is... I'm sorry, my allergies are kicking my ass, but it's like they're they're They found somebody who fits the description. So three cards in a row, the chariot, knight of swords, knight of wands that show action, that show somebody taking action towards another person. They're ready to take this to the next level. They see this as I found my wish. This is my wish. But I never said this person was in love with the empress because they're not. This is like a very... Um, calculated way of choosing a partner like they have a list of requirements and now they can throw away the list because they found the person that fits those requirements clarify nine of potions clarify nine of potions mm-hmm and the hangman. Yep. Huh, look, the Hierophant. I told you. <laughs> I told you. This is a player who's ready to hang up his little player mittens. I didn't say they're going to be faithful, though. They're just going to officially take themselves off the market. Doesn't mean they're still not going to play the market. At least, at least until they secure this person. They're, they're going to pretend that they're settled and down. They're, they're going to chill out. Because they need to secure this, this empress. Because they found their mark. And I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Because I don't think this person's a scammer. I don't think they're a scammer. I think that they're just looking for somebody who lives a certain lifestyle. They want to live that lifestyle. So they're trying to match up with that person. But this is somebody who's definitely looking to get taken care of. 
So they're going to show up looking like a king of pentacles, but they're not. They're, they're not of wands. But they know that this empress is definitely a queen of pentacles. Of course, an empress has all four. But they see this empress with empress energy, queen of pentacles energy. So they see her as, I have to present myself a certain way to be her match. So even if they're a player, they're not going to show that to her. If she knows, they're going to act different. They're not going to let her know. They're going to be like, yeah, I've, I've been changing. Um, or if she didn't know that they were a player, they're going to show disdain for that lifestyle because they want to match her frequency. They want to let her know, you and I are the same. We should be together. Because they know that this is Virgo energy. I don't know if she has Virgo energy, but this is Earth energy too. She could have Capricorn, Taurus energy. But she's like a very, um, doesn't have to be. This could just be somebody who has a lot of um, caring energy. Very um, practical, down to earth. Um, very wise. They come across very wise to this person, which they're also attracted to. Like there's a lot of things about this empress that attracts this person because they do have a lot of passion. But it's not the same thing as love, just so you know. They feel like this is an empress who's very, they, they sacrifice themselves for others. They love that. They love that this is somebody who's willing to sacrifice themselves for others. That's why I said this person fits all the requirements. And so I think the warning here for this empress is uh, be careful. You might be creating an illusion. Somebody is putting an illusion for you. And if you allow it you will be pulled in because you think it's reality because you want it to be reality when it's not. And I think the warning, if you are the type that is a nut of wands, this is a warning because if this empress, whew, this one's going to be tough, but I'm just going to say it. If this empress is somebody who has a spiritual purpose here on earth, I know I say it all the time that, you know, people like the Knight of Wands are used to test an empress, right? Not because the universe is testing them, but almost like, oh, that came out sideways. Four of presents. Let's leave it there. Um, think of it like this. Think of it like there's a difference in somebody setting up their partner to be tested as in an actual test coming up and them just standing back to observe how they handle it. You know, there's a difference. Same thing. The universe doesn't set up tests, but as things come, it shows the universe where we're at in frequency, vibration, wisdom. So it's not like the universe sent this night, but they're allowing it to happen because by now the Empress should have, should know who her real match is. And if she fall for, falls for this, I feel like it's going to derail her a lot. But keep in mind, there's a warning here for the night as well. Saying, if you knock this one down, who has a spiritual purpose, yes, they are at fault. But remember, what did it say? The aristocrat didn't receive as much punishment as the lower class person. Which means the Empress might be derailed, but sooner or later she'll get back on track. But if this knight comes in to derail her, they will fall lower than they were currently. So it's a warning to both people. One more. Oh, actually, I don't know why I said... Oh, well. I started shuffling. Give me one more. Six of Needles, yep. Queen of Potions. Okay, we're going to put this up right. So, this is, um, this Empress shows up as somebody who is very, very loving. She's already shown up as two different queens. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Two of the most nurturing queens. 
Seven of Needles. Oh, Queen of Candles. Queen of Needles. Interestingly enough, I don't think this um, this knight. I don't think they realize who she is because they see her as a Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, very nurturing. They focus on how nurturing this person is. They don't see Seven of Needles. It's not that this queen is deceptive because she's an empress. You don't get to empress status by being deceptive. It's almost like a, like a strategy. Like this empress strategically puts forth the nurturing. Almost like making themselves appear harmless. Letting people assume what they want off of that. But in, look, underneath they've got Queen of Needles, Queen of Candles. This is not somebody to play with. That's why the universe is warning this person. Because they, they're over here thinking, oh, this is a sweetheart. All I got to do is, you know, be all cute and cuddly. Seduce her ass. They don't realize that this is someone who outclasses them. That's why it's a higher class, not not financially, maybe that too, but not like mentally. Mentally, emotionally, they are outclassed. This is somebody who is... Uh, they, I don't think they realize what they're getting themselves into. They think that they're going in to to target someone. But I don't think they realize that one, they might fall in love because an empress is very lovable. But two, although the empress will be hurt, they'll be devastated when they lose the empress. They're going to be way worse off by pretending to be something they're not, they're going to be way worse off than when they started. That's the warning. And the Empress is being, you know, given a warning that this might be an illusion. In the sense that this is somebody who is presenting themselves. How to put this? They're not a match. So even if the Knight is not a player, they don't have to be. But they're not a match to an empress. But they're trying to match with the empress because everybody wants a partner that they admire, they look up to. So it's not that they're committing a cardinal sin in any way. But it's more like they think that they're outwitting her. There's a, a sneaky energy there. They're not being honest with her. Maybe if they were honest with her, things would go a lot smoother. But they're showing up as someone that they're not, which is worse. Clarify four of presents. Oh, wait. So... Looking at these four of presents, see, it's this, um, it's this sneakiness of like, and I'm going to steal her cheese. Not, you know, that sounds kind of weird, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Her coins. This is the four of pentacles. They want to, they want to take some of that. Some of what, whatever's coming in, they know that the empress is abundant. But the thing is, they don't realize that this, this would be the wrong person to steal from. This would be the wrong person to try and trick because somebody who's on Empress energy, they're divinely protected. Even if they make a, a lack, a lapse of judgment, if this person is betrayed, the punishment coming from, well, I don't want to say punishment because it sounds so ugly, but the repercussions... Yeah, I'm going to say punishment because it'd be punishment because they're willingly doing that. It's not just a, it would be them openly knowing what they're doing. So yes, it would be punishment. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it. They just don't realize what they'd be facing. Because again, six of needles, the empress will heal. You see how she's putting herself back together? She'll heal. She's not, she's not as soft as they think she is. She's just very much in her feminine. So this could be somebody who has like a very, you know, um, soft appearance, maybe a soft voice. But they have a, a steel core. 
Clarify Four of Pentacles. <laughs> the devil. Yeah, what they're obsessed with is her money. Six of Cups. Her status. And the High Priestess. With the King of Swords. See, this is, this is the cardinal sin. The cardinal sin to this empress isn't that they want a better life. It's that they're coming in trying to outsmart her. So they might be a little bit of a scammer. As in, this could get somebody who tries to get the house put in their name or things like that. Because they think with the devil, there's this obsession with status. There's this obsession with material wealth. But this is also somebody who would not appreciate. Because I, I, I mean, an empress is, is generous. That's why they know, they know how to pick them. But they would not appreciate what they've been given. This is a warning from the universe to this person, which means that some of them are listening to this channel. If you get with this empress and you fuck with her, you lie to her, you deceive her, just remember what happens. You're going to end off. If you're not happy with where you're at now, you're going to be less happy with where you're going to end up by the time the universe is done with you. By the time the ancestors, the lineage, the protectors of this empress are done with you. Because the empress isn't the one that's going to do it. It'll be a double whammy because one, this person will fall in love with the empress. They'll lose her. And on top of that, their life is, they're going to get royally fucked with no lube. Because their obsession is on accumulating wealth, not on forming a bond. So they're going to pretend to form a bond. But they're coming in deceptive. Because even this high priestess, they're very intuitive. So they're using their intuitive skills to figure out what to say and how to guide. Because they know this empress is very loving. How to get her to open up how to show her that they can match her but they're being very calculating look again ace of canes reverse they're not being honest they're gonna show up like they're a match to her but they're not and even in this the high priestess i forget they call this mary lude mary lid something like that this is somebody who's holding um a um Oh my god. Is it the head of a horse or the head of a of a a cow? Something like that. It's basically not them. There's somebody underneath that holding that up. So they're being deceptive. They're putting on I have to look it up though cuz I forget um what it is that they're holding up. Yeah, it's a, okay, it's a horse's skull. There you go. It's a horse's skull that's mounted on a pole and there's a person under here holding the pole with the horse's skull. So the point I'm trying to, I'm trying to make is that the person is not showing their face. So they're trying to come in like someone who's mysterious, someone who's all wise, but what they're hiding underneath is Krampus. That's what they're hiding underneath because of their obsession with, with this empress's status and wealth. Clarify five of candles. Two of canes. The magus, the magician. I told you it's the magician. Queen of swords. Nine of candles, ten of gifts, knight of gifts for Christmas. (sighs) 
I think the warning is bigger. Well, the warning is for both people, though. It's just, it really is for both people. Because I feel like this Knight of Wands is going to be very persistent. They're going to do the most. They're going to do the most for this Empress to feel like, wow, this person is so in love with me. They're going to they're going to do whatever they can to demonstrate that they want a family, that they want that they're not going to give up. It doesn't matter how hard things get. That they want a future, long term future. That they've grown in wisdom. That they'd be devastated if they didn't get their star, that they're so lost without her. But in reality, they're Scrooge. But again, they're not showing that. They're going to put on such a good show that even the Queen of Swords, who is cold, who is wise, has boundaries, even this queen is going to see them as a, as a magician. Is going to see them as somebody who is truly their match. That's why the warning, the first warning that came out was for the night. Because they're saying, remember, just remember how much effort you're putting into acquiring this. Six of Needles. Think of it like, and I don't know, this Knight of Needles might not see it this way. But think of it like this. This Empress belongs to a royal family. I believe it's a spiritual royal line. But this is somebody who's putting in all this effort to marry the... the the heir of the royal line. And although the person that's the heir is beautiful and alluring, and there's a lot to them that this person's like, oh, I could totally tap that. Like, just remember all the effort you're putting in because this shit comes with conditions. Later on, don't be complaining. Later on, don't say this is too hard. You put the effort to get yourself here. Nine of good cheer. Look, again, the empress. Clarify, Six of Swords. And the Hermit, Father Christmas, with the Four of Swords, the Hangman, Ace of Good Cheer, the Moon, yeah. It goes beyond just being deceptive. It's like very, it's incredibly calculating. Because they've studied this empress. They've studied this empress to see en enough, to understand enough what she sees as red flags. To hide those red flags. Not because they don't have them, but so that she doesn't understand what she's getting herself into. The best way for this empress to protect herself is to be patient, to take her time. To not allow herself to be rushed into anything. I'm sorry, my nose is itching because because they're gonna hide all the red flags. They want to create a child. Now, if you're not within the age or you don't have the ability to get pregnant obviously this is not your story because here i'm telling you they want to create a family they see they also know that this is somebody who would make a great mother this is somebody who's kind who's patient who's loving who's strong who's doing well financially so they don't have a problem with like well i had to struggle it's okay because the Empress will take, even if I ever struggle financially, the Empress will take care of the child. There's somebody who's been through a lot. They've gotten themselves out of it. We'll be fine. But 
they would have a child to kind of lock the empress in. Let's look, the, look at the last. Ooh, this one went a little long, but still. Let's look at the last piece of information here. The Hanged Man. King of Cups, King of Potions. Ace of Pentacles and Knight of... I mean, Ace of Presents, Knight of Presents, which is the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. With the Two of Candles. Ace of Needles, the Devil, <laughs> Chariot. Five of potions, ten of needles, page of needles. This is somebody who's got a plan. They're taking action. They're going to act like they're coming in with the truth. But where you saw the Ace of Swords reverse twice with them, it's not the truth. It's, it's the truth that's convenient to them. Because there it is, the devil. There's somebody who's toxic. They've got toxic tendencies. You see all these chains? They may have addictions, but they're going to hide all symptoms of addiction. They're going to hide all, all what they know the Empress is looking for. They're going to hide it. See that giant moon? Secrets. But they're determined to make this happen. Even And this is so appropriate that this is the deck I feel called to, to use today. Because this chariot, remember, this isn't the real Santa. And, oh, you know what, guys? <laughs> this is not the real Santa. If, if there is, not if, because this is what I feel. I feel like there is somebody here who is the match to the Empress. And remember, this person is a tricky magician. They might be doing things... To, to halt the the Santa Claus, the, the real Santa Claus, so that they can come in and act like it's them. But it's deceptive. That's why there's a giant moon. It'll lead to heartbreak. It'll lead to this person being better, worse off than before because this storyline of the night before Christmas, the nightmare before Christmas, is somebody who realized that they... You know, they ruled the land of Halloween. But they want more. Then they discover the land of Christmas and they want that one. But that doesn't belong to them. It belongs to Santa Claus. So they get Santa Claus kidnapped. I don't think it's an actual kidnapping. Relax. I think that it's energetic. They've created a... They might be blocking this person through using a lot of fear. Using a lot of, um, you know, oh, your worst nightmare will come to... Like, stuff like that. But keep in mind, this is all allowed because if this is a true emperor, they will free themselves from this situation. They should not be able to hold them. But for now, it is holding them. And meanwhile, this person's going to come in like they're the real deal. And they're going to lose. They're going to be like, oh my God, why did I do that? Because they're going to lose. But they might lose after they've got what they want. But they're going to come in like they're the real Santa Claus. They're not. But that's their plan. They feel like they, they can pull it off. And they might be able to pull it off. Because deception can work for so long. Just remember, give somebody what they want and you'll see their true colors. You'll see exactly who they are. Because I feel like once they feel like they've got this Empress guaranteed, they're going to show their true colors, whatever those may be. Which is why the Empress needs to slow down. Take her time. Clarify the hangman. 
Look. <laughs> the moon. I told you. It's the moon. It's deceptive. It's hiding. It's hiding underneath the the costume of the horse's head. Clarify the hangman. Eight of Cups. This person may be an alcoholic. Or or if they're not an alcoholic, whatever addictions they do have, they're abstaining from them. Yeah, they're rejecting them, giving the impression that they're done with it until they secure the Empress. And then they're going to go hardcore back into whatever they know. Yeah, so they're going to act like they've really changed for this. Which means that they already know each other. They've got to already know each other. Because they know that to match this person, they have to act like they really changed. They have to act like they're really... They believe in Santa Claus again and that type of thing. But they don't. They're just taking a leap of faith to get involved with this, with this empress. Oh, boy. Clarify the King of Potions. Queen of Candles. Krampus. Nine of Good Cheer. chariot again yeah they're gonna I feel like this person feels like they're on a time crunch so they're coming in really hot and heavy because they may sense that this person that was in the hangman mode is releasing themselves from it if they were caught up with a karmic themselves who was in devil energy they may now be single. Or they will be soon. They may be freeing themselves. Because remember, Santa had help. In the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas, Santa had help freeing himself. Even if in that movie it was Jack himself, I feel like in this one it'll be his ancestors, his, his guides trying to guide him out of the darkness. So the real Santa is coming and somebody's like, I got to beat him. I got to get there first. Especially if they know that this Empress is getting signs that there's a real uh, divine masculine coming in. They want to come in first. So they're like, it's me. It's me. I'm, I'm the masculine. I'm Santa. Clarify Ace of Presents. <laughs> Ten of Gifts. The Hierophant. Clarify of Presence. And the Child. Which is the whole card. Five of Wands, Two of Gifts. Yeah, they're trying to confuse this Empress. They're trying to confuse this Empress because... Whoever it is that is that should be coming in for this empress, they are a true match to her, right? So they're trying to come in first. And then when this other person comes in, they'll be like, well, you, now you got to pick. You got to pick which one of us is the real one. When they both give off the energy of wanting a family, they both are giving off the energy of um, the Hierophant. So now there's, there's, um, there's like a competition for this Empress's energy and she's going to be a little like, what the hell? Because she doesn't know which one is the one. And I'm going to tell you how you'll know. I'm going to give you a little tip. The one that's the Knight of Wands disguising themselves as Santa, as uh, her match, 
when this card came out, I heard, go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. <laughs> and then I got a vision of Vegas. I have a feeling this night would try to rush. Let's rush. Because they're hiding, right? So people can only hide who they are for so long. If you pay attention and they're, they're dealing with someone who's very perceptive. So they're having to, you know, dot their, their I's, cross their T's, curl their Q's. They can only keep this up for so long. Don't rush. Don't let them rush you into anything. Because they might, especially if the true divine masculine comes in, there might be arguments of like, oh, especially if you already started dating this person, you already started getting to know them. Oh, okay, I see how it is. So you're, you're like trying to wait for the best one they might apply pressure they might be manipulative don't allow yourself to be pressured don't allow yourself to be guilted into rushing things take your time take your time because look again a leap of faith and then i open it towards this the queen of swords you already have the intelligence don't doubt yourself you have the wisdom you have the insight and the perception you need the person that truly wants long term the person that is truly here for you long term will not be in a rush. That's how you'll know which was the real one. Not a presence. Clarify not a presence. The lightning tree. Four of Wands reverse. Ooh. Eight of Swords. Eight of Gifts. Two of Candles in the world. The seven of candles. I think if you're watching this and you're the Empress, I'm going to let you know you're going to be shocked because I'm telling you this is somebody you know. It's somebody you already know. And you're going to be shocked when you realize this person is expressing emotions that they perhaps had never expressed before. They're going to express how, how devastated they were um, at not being near the Empress, how they have all this emotion for this Empress. They, I feel like there is a strong attraction. So they're not totally faking that, but it's not, they're not in love. If you're curious if they will be, yeah, they will be, but it's just not going to be the type of love you think it is. You're going to be shocked at what they're expressing. You're going to be shocked that they want long term. They may already have a ring. They may... Because you might have thought that they never wanted a relationship. They were never going to move towards that. They do. It's just not going to be the type of relationship you think. But ultimately, if you wanted a, a partner that was going to be there with you every day, yeah, they want to be that person. So this may take it to the next level. Just keep in mind the warnings. For the Knight of Wands, remember, there's a reason. There's a reason you should marry somebody who's in your food group. <laughs> Let's put it that way. If you marry up, just remember, the harder you rise, the harder you fall. If you're the empress, just because someone feels like the right match doesn't mean that they are. Sometimes you're creating an illusion. You're allowing an illusion to be created because you want that illusion. So careful. All right. That's what I got for you guys. Just remember, we're human. So maybe this is going to be a Saturn lesson for both people um only time will tell all right that's what i got for you guys i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you take some uh lesson from it some wisdom and remember to please react comment and um, if you want to share please wait until it's public on youtube before you share this link because people on patreon get this link a day ahead of the ones on youtube facebook so if you see this already on Facebook or YouTube, then you can share the link. If, if it's only on Patreon, please don't share it until it's public on YouTube, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time and energy, and I hope you all appreciate mine. Love you all. Bye-bye.